I, I love the your your ears. They look great. And they could do this too. Oh, let's see. Whoa! My name's Eric. Uh, I'm from Alliston, and I work for Hydro One. So I'm just going to ask you. Um, do you have any electricity in your home? Well, yes, I'm using electricity right now, like the lights, um, the electronics, um, the chandelier. Where do you think electricity comes from? Uh, a big building. Well, kind of. How electricity is formed is it actually runs off fuel. It runs off of coal. It runs off of the wind, the water. It basically, it runs from the earth that we use, and we actually use that energy to create the power and the source and using generators to pump out the electricity. So how do you think the electricity gets to your house? They use um, something called transmission lines, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but um, sometimes the power... Um, the electricity uh, isn't powerful enough to get all the way from the electricity generator place thingy <laughs> to our house. <laughs> the power lines? Yeah, so what happens is the generators that we have that create the power, so mainly water sources, we ended up pumping those out onto power lines, like you're saying, into towers, and then the towers create it to the this thing called a transmission station. So this transmission station ends up leading these other lines from various locations and actually brings it to these little other things called distribution stations that use the wires to go onto hydro poles that you see when you're driving down the road. And anyways, they use those lines to go down into a big can called a transformer and downgrades the voltage and then goes towards your house. So... What do you think happens when the power goes out in your house? All the lights and stuff like plugged in stops working. All the electricity All the turns off. off. Um, so at Hydro One, I'm a power lineman. So what do you think I do for, uh, for work? I think based on the name, I think like that you like in case like lines break, you like go and fix them and repair them and mm -hmm. making sure the wires are still going into people's houses you help make the electricity come to our houses oh bang on you're right on the money on that one brooklyn yeah so what we do is if ever there's an issue whatsoever we get called to the scene and figure out what the problem is and try to help out the customer as much as we can to provide electricity at full capacity so if a pole breaks or if a line goes down, we're there as fast as we can to help out and get the power back to your house. What do you think I wear when I'm working on these lines? You wear um, gloves and so you don't get electrocuted. Do you think I wear flip-flops or shorts? No. Maybe vests, yellow yep. vests, yep. and yep. orange pants and gloves. Uh, protective gear or like suits to protect you from like uh, anything that might hurt you like actually I'm wearing a protective suit right now I'm, I'm wearing this thing called PPE and oh. it's uh yeah it's a flammable retardant and what it does is it actually prevents me like I have to be very safe at all times and I have these special rubber gloves that go up to my elbows so if I'm ever close to the power lines and saying I'm working on it, it actually allows me to be safe at all points. So I have a hard hat that I wear, safety glasses, and also I have a partner that's watching me at all times. And it's very safe and very like, you have to have a trust system. And I have to wear hard working boots. I have to wear uh, big coverall pants, no skin exposure. So that allows me to be as safe as possible. And I have uh, tools that will help me uh, work on electricity. And it's a, it's a big system. It's a great project. And I absolutely love it.